Hey guys, so it's technically Friday night. Um, I'm making this now because I work tomorrow. And I get tired after work and I don't want to make videos. So I basically just got done with work an hour ago. So, yay. Um, so the sticky tech, blue tech thing, um, I call it sticky tech. Um, I mean, I think when I was little it was blue tech, just because it was blue, but, um, I don't really know. I, I don't use it, so, um, and then you have, like, poster stuff, and I don't know. It's, like, too many different names for it, so, whatever. Um, uh, Miranda July. I've seen two of her, like, actual movies, one of which she directed, called, uh, The People We Know or something, um, and then I watched The Future, In The Future, she plays, um, the main female protagonist, and she also does the voice for the cat in the video, and, um, I just like her because... The movies that she does are like they just have good themes to them or like they end with something that's like okay um, in the future it was about how they would stop time and the way they would stop time is the guy would put his hand on her head and say time stops now and then they would just stop moving and then it just goes through and it's oh it was so good but then like you you watch the whole thing and you're like oh my gosh why why is that happening um i agree that johnny depp and tim burton can do things separately um beatles use is a really awesome movie so yeah, um, and Pirates of the Caribbean was good. I did not see the fourth movie because it looked stupid, and my friend went and saw it and said it had no plot, so I I really just did not want to see it at all. Um, movies that I've seen recently, I saw Men in Black 3, and that was really good. Um, I wanted to see The Raven. I didn't get a chance to, so hopefully when that comes out, I'll rent that or something. I don't know. Um, and yeah, I just watched like seven videos in an hour because I have nothing better to do, I guess. Um, and basically the only videos I've been watching on YouTube are from this channel and like a few other videos occasionally but mainly this channel because it gives me something to talk to you guys about when I make a video. I am talking weirdly today because I don't know what to say. Um, I will try to be back next week. I'm trying to think when next week is and yes I will be here. Um, in two weeks, it's my birthday, so that's awesome. I'm turning 19. Party. Yay. I don't really know. I'm just going to be home or something at a wedding, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah. Also, I got my dress and my shoes for my cosplay, so maybe you'll see that at some point, and if not on this channel, it'll probably be on my other channel. Um, why, why do I have a billion channels? I don't know. Um, uh, what else have I been up to? Um, for a recommendation, if you have a Mac, I think you can play this game if it's not a Mac too, but I have it for Mac, so I don't know if it's a Windows thing either. But, um, I've been playing Bastion, B-A-S-T-I-O-N. And it's fun. It's awesome. I mean, I'm not very good at games like that, but it's it's good for me. So, yeah. Um, Mark, 
I loved your dating video. It, I almost fell out of my chair laughing. It was so funny. And I definitely know how you feel. Um, except for me, it's like everyone's telling me they like me. And then I'm like, well, you gonna ask me out? And they're like, mm, no, I don't think so. Okay, that's, that's nice. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, I don't want to be like, uh, I, okay. So, it's kind of just been like, okay, we'll be friends. That's, that's cool. Um, so yeah, I, I enjoyed that. It was funny. It was a very wonderfully metaphoric interpretation of dating. It was, it was so wonderful. Um, what else was I going to say? Megan, that's cool. You're going to Mexico, right? Um, and Adam, you get to go to VidCon. My friend Emily would be really jealous. She really wanted to go, and, um, she wanted me to go with her because we're both, like, YouTube people or whatever, and... I could not afford it, so um, I couldn't go with her, but I don't know if she's still going with someone else or if she's just not going, but that's really cool, and you should videotape stuff and take a bunch of pictures and just do awesome things while you're there, because it seems like it would be really cool. Um, I really wanted to go last year. Uh, this year, I looked at who was going, and I only knew, like, a few, a few of the people going, so, I mean, I looked up some of them, and it was awesome, oh my gosh, I'm talking forever, that's wonderful, um, yeah, so, anyways, uh, hopefully I will be back next week. And I was going to ask you all something, and I don't remember what it was. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to ask you something that my dad asked me, uh, like, a few days ago. If you could only travel to one place for five days, and it was the last trip you were ever going to take in your life, where would you go? And it can be anywhere. So for me, I said Japan because I wanted to go there for like a few years now. And there's a lot of cool things there like the Ghibli Museum and a bunch of really awesome stores. And there's really cheap stuff there. So it's awesome. Um, yeah. So where would you all go if you could only go somewhere for five days and it was the last trip you were ever going to make. And I'll see you all next week. Bye!